Hello everyone, welcome back to Fly Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Mikey Garcia predicts Devin Haney Reggie's Progress. He is dangerous. December's WBC World Super Lightweight title clash between Reggie's Progress and Devin Haney is one of the standout fights of the boxing calendar towards the back end of the year. With the observers intrigued as to how the former Undisputed Lightweight King will fear up in weight. Despite moving up 5 pounds, the dream is the favorite over defending champion Progress which former lightweight world champion Mikey Garcia believed could be a short sight. In a recent interview, Garcia explained that Thought Haney's uh, superior boxing skills could see him over the line. He believes for Grace power means he has a very good chance. I think it uh, Haney vs. Progress is a much better fight than people think. A lot of people are counting out Regis. I think he has a very good chance. He is strong, dangerous and Haney hasn't shown the best chin at times. He doesn't have the power either to keep Regis off, but he does have the boxing skills. So if he keep a distance, jabbing and circling around, then I could see him winning a decision. But everything could change with one punch. Regis has that power. He is dangerous. He hits hard. You can see that his opponents feel the power. Regis Procrace welcomes Devin Haney to the Super Lightweight Division on December 2nd in San Francisco, but there is no love lost between the two champions. No, Haney followed through on a promise to move up to 140 pounds and became a two-way titleist at the age of 24. The man standing in his way is Procrace, who is currently in his second stint as a champion. Ahead of a kick of press conference this week, Procrace floated a theory that his opponent had paid for a loss to be removed from his record early in his career. So I'm hearing Devin lost to fight in Mexico early in his career, but he paid to take it off his record. If that's true, that's the weakest shit I ever heard so far in boxing. Press conference is a Tuesday and the hero reporters better not let these shit slide. Eddie fought 10 of his first 15 boats in Tijuana, Mexico. Sharpening his tools on an unforgiving club, Tergit without the backing of a major promoter. He has now responded to Progress' post by saying that the accusation was first made by lightweight rival Rolando Romero and suggested it was uh, ridiculous. Only a dumb bus would believe some shit like that. This info is coming from Rolly that I should tell you enough. Regis Progress is gonna win that the Devin Hedy wouldn't have agreed to fight him had Progress performed it more impressively against Danileto Zorilla. Progress dropped Zorilla in the third round and beat his cautious challenger comfortably. On two scorecards, June 17, at the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, the WBC Super Lightweight Champion admits he wasn't nearly at his best when he faced Zorilla. Despite that, he won 10 rounds according to Judge Robert Tepper and 9 rounds on the card of Judge Joseph Mason. This was all Bill Haney, Mavin's father and the trainer needs to see according to Progress. To think his son could beat Progress in what will be Haney's debut in the junior welterweight limit of 140 pounds. The defeated and spirit lightweight champion will challenge Progress for his WBC belt in a dozen pay-per-view main event in December 9 at the Chase Center in Francisco. After my performance against Rilo, it gave him confidence, Progress told. You know, his daddy was there and, uh, you know, it just uh, gave him some confidence. I think they think that, uh, you know, they saw some things. His dad was there like, Tang, you probably could take Regis because this is a real performance. It wasn't a good performance for me. So I think after that, listen, if I wouldn't have went and blasted Zarilla in a two or three rounds, you know, Henny wouldn't have stepped up to the plate. But you know, after that performance, they was like, you know what, I think I might go do it. So what's why I believe they're doing it. Devin Haney disputed Progress' theory on why he took their fight during a subsequent interview with the boxing stance. The 24-year-old Haney noted that he began pushing to oppose Progress before the strong Southpaw fought the right-handed Torilla, who lost a split decision after replacing in the Jarrett Australian Southpaw Lime Pyro. That's not true, Haney said. If you look at the dates, I caught Regis out before that fight with Zorilla even happened. So my dad went to the fight because he knew there was a possibility of us making the fight before then. So if he would not went in there and knock him out, we were already in the talks with the promoter Red Hearn about making this fight happen. So you know, it didn't matter if he looked like Superman in this fight. 
It's still a fight that I wanted to make happen. Because even though he didn't look good in that fight, I do feel like he is the best at 140 pounds right now. Haney said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.